This futuristic cityscape is a far cry from the green, rolling roads of Northern Europe. But what is it that brings some of the best riders in the world here to Dubai? Well, let's go and find out. I think it's a good race and uh, it's also good for preparation. It's good weather here and uh, yeah, I hope so for <laughs> another four days. And uh, yeah, I think it's good for uh, start season. I'm explaining lots of things to, to, the, to, to, to our team guys because I know the city already by, by years, 10 years almost. And the first time I passed here uh, where we stay now in the press conference, uh, that was 10 years ago, nothing. 10 years later, you see uh, millions of new things. And uh, so it was, Dubai is like an uh, adult uh, city to have. There's so many things. and. Uh, it's, it's crazy how things can change so much. I like it here. I was here on holiday um, with my family a couple of years ago. We'll come again. I think uh, I don't often get time for holiday, you know, even after the season. Um, but I like it here. There's a lot to do. You've got the weather there. You've got the beach where you also got if you want to do, do other stuff as well. It's good with the kids and that. So, no, it'll be good. It'll be interesting to see how they close the roads and that for the races. And you know, that's one of the busiest roads in the world there. It's totally different to... Um to uh, to where I come from, from from Australia now after the tour tour down under, and of course also, also totally different to Europe. It's a special city. I mean, you can do really a lot. It's it's like big entertainment, uh, the Las Vegas of, of the Middle East. And um, yeah, so far I, I like it. I saw some stages. It's good for sprinting, and that's uh, that's the reason why I'm here to to do some sprints. And here we are in the team hotel car park, which has been adapted into a multi-purpose service course. And behind me, Fabian Cancellara is warming up, probably in the absence of going out on the road because it is very busy. But tomorrow's 10K time trial stage isn't going to include the use of time trial bikes. So all we can see is road bikes. So the time trial is going to prove very interesting. And here's what the riders had to say. It will be hard. It will be different, that's of course. But I think on the end, it's for everyone the same and um, yeah just to get the best out of this day maybe uh, even it's just 10k but uh, you know I'm I just arrived this morning early and um, I come from a preparation it's the first race and uh, 10 kilometer is not 100 or 200k that's that's a big thing and I think it's the first race I'm coming in and um, I'm just looking on that to to do some racing kilometers and uh, building up step by step the condition uh, you make a couple of tweaks here and there to the bike you know um with kind of where you're sitting on the saddle and then also uh, the how narrow and, 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 and long your, your stem is, uh, how narrow your bars are and how long your stem is. So we'll, uh, I'm going to play around with that this afternoon. Um, but you don't make too many big differences. Just just being comfortable and, and you know trying to be as aerodynamic as possible, even if you're not on a time trial bike. Now world time trial champion Tony Martin from Amiga Pharma Quickstep has done a few little adjustments to his bike and that includes nudging the saddle forward on the rails and actually turning around the seat post so it's not laid back quite as much and that actually varies his position by a considerable margin. Yeah, we did some changes uh, but really just more things. Um, I would prefer to go on a TT bike, sure. I really uh, feel uh, perfectly on it but um, I think it's the best solution for everyone uh, to go on a road bike. Um, yeah, normally I want to win. I've done my hair uh, myself, so I think I might try to find a salon nearby. I kind of have this weird thing like hanging off the back here. You know, I had to come here and I had to give uh, Marcel Kittle some competition on the hair front. Uh, you know, he's been kind of taking the cake recently. I try to keep up with the best, uh, uh, but yeah, I think I have to do an appointment uh, with my hairdresser again. What are your thoughts on the Kittel Finney hair off going on at the moment? Better than mine, they can do stuff for me, you know. We'll let the hair do the talking, I think, uh, in the end of the day.